Hi everyone, welcome to Bumblebee Crafts. Thanks for tuning in to another video from me. Happy Monday, start of a new creative week. And I'm starting um, a new project this week. Um, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm actually going to be making two journals. Um, one's going to be um, as an idea journal for myself and the other one um, most probably will go up for sale in my Etsy shop. But I'm going to take my time in doing these um, because I'm going to be following along with the um, collaboration that Rachel and Bella Crafts is hosting um, with guest designer Angela Kerr. Um, it's been running for a while now um, and we're up to today, we're the 25th, so it started on the 15th of March. Um, I'm part of the collaboration but I'm not till my collaboration video isn't until the 11th of April so you, <laughs> you guys have got quite a bit of a, a wait for mine but in the meantime there are some absolutely amazing amazing makes every single one is just wonderful this schedule is available um, on Rach and Bella Crafts Kofi site as a freebie you get some little fussy cut elements as well as um, the schedule here um, as I said um, we're up to here the 25th today um, so you've had all these other people that have been um, and you've still got all these wonderful artists to come with some fantastic makes um, but what I want to do so that I can prep ahead for when I do mine, um, my um, prompt is called Gatefold Garden Pages. So I would like to have my journal by that time, by the um, 11th of April, to have my journal ready to um, put together so that I can do my project on the page and show you guys so what i'm going to be doing on and off during from now through until um probably the end of april is um, dipping into this new project and it's going to be called a garden story journal and it's a design team project so it's not part of the hashtag journal jigsaw collaboration but it's running alongside um, and i'm going to be using um, these gorgeous gorgeous kits um, this one's been designed by rachel bella crafts and you can go over to her kofi or etsy to get that and the guest designer angela kerr has worked with um, rachel to bring out a kit um, that complements it so they're very very similar um, but you can tell there's different styles to them and they are just they marry together perfectly I absolutely um, love them so we're going to be doing some journals um, um, with these papers um, and then obviously my project and what I also thought about as well is um, I'd love to recreate some of these ideas that these wonderful artists have made so I can then put these in my journal but obviously we need to go right back and start at the beginning um, with this so I'm going to take you right back to the very beginning of my journal making I've got some fabric here that I decided I'm going to use as the cover because my theme um, running along here you've got two themes you've got rustic and grungy bright and shabby and there's two artists every day um, are taking their prompt and one's doing bright and shabby and one's doing a rustic and grungy I'm rustic and grungy um, on mine um, so I, I need to have a look and think that this kit is such a beautiful beautiful pastel coloured um, in here some blues greens slightly turquoisey blue yellow um, there's all sorts of lovely colours um, in here very spring colours but I need to make that darker and grungier um, and a bit more rustic so I've got this um, old blind material curtain material um, that I've just cut but um, two pieces to the size that I need for the journal so that's all ready and then we need to actually make the journal so I've got some old um, cereal liners so you guys can see what I often have for my breakfast <laughs> my gluten-free cereals um, this one's not ready let's just separate that up now I've done um, a project similar to this. I have a start to finish in my journal making 101 um, of what I call my flip flap journal covers. So I'm going to be doing um, a similar approach to that. I'll leave though that um, video 
um, below and I do have a playlist for it um, because I I know you guys often see on my pages um, when I do pages in the journal I like to have a few little flip outs on them um, but I often have front and back these flippy out um, bits. I'm going to do this one slightly different um, but I'm still going to do a start to finish with this. So um, I've got some paper because I always cover this before to, just in case any of this bright um, pattern will show through. So we'll put, move those to the side for now. We've got all our pages we don't need. We're starting right at the very beginning with the journal cover. So let's just check that this is all in. Yeah, it's going to be in camera. So the first thing I always do, if I turn my mat to the side like this, I've got a much better um, angle to work with. Just move my wire, it's tinging on my um, cup here. Okay, and what I like to do is take off these bits first and I use, I don't have a big enough um, cutter rotary cutter or anything like that um, so I have to use my knife and my ruler and I just take that off working my way along because we don't want these bits on here So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. It's quite a grey day here today. Um, it's uh, not particularly cold. It's quite a nice mild spring day, um, but it's very gloomy and cloudy. We might, I think there is a possible chance of rain later on. Let's do the other side. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping to do a, try and see if I could get out to do a spot of gardening. It all depends on how my health is and what it will allow me to do today. Um, if not, I'm hoping that uh, when hubby's home at the weekend, then, uh, well, off work at the weekend, he can, uh, he can help me. That's that one, and then this one. Yeah, we've got lots of gardening, um, re-landscaping, restoration, <laughs> that kind of work to be done on our garden so that it makes it much easier um, for me with my health to be able to manage to do some bits in the garden. Right, now we need to, we've cut those bits off. Let's just pop the lid on that. I need to decide on what I'm doing with the spine and the size of the spine. When I've done these before, I've just done them as a one inch spine. Um, but I just want to see, it's just over two inches. Let's just measure from in here. Yeah, I could get away with doing um, a two inch spine and I'm thinking because you've got such the two kits with lots of pages um, I haven't done um, a three signature journal in a long, long time. Um, and I'm actually thinking I could probably get three signatures in here and leave this spine as it is. OK, so that's so... This is actually going to stay intact. Now I need to know um, height wise, how high, what's the height are we? We're 22 centimetres, which is, if I just can grab this, which is about eight and a half inches, which is about the height that I want. So that's the good height. I don't need to cut anything more off this one. I'm keeping the spine as it is um, but these bits need to be looking at mine I think I made them six and a half so I'm just deciding now whether I want to score at six and a half and fold this over instead of having the flippy flappy bits here 
one of my ideas was using this one and having it as a little gusseted pocket. Uh, how long is that? That makes that seven and a half, so it's a, a whole inch. Okay, I'm just going to have a go with my, let's move these papers to the side here, with this little Fiskars trimmer. I do have a score um, thingy with it and as I've got my measurements on here in inches and my scoreboard is... Um, in centimetres, that is about six and a half. Let's just make sure. Let's pop that up to there. Oh, this food only does six. Look, tiddly little one. I really need to get one of those that's um, end to end one um, that's in that's longer okay we'll use this and we want to do at six and a half which is about there just going to do the same with this one measure the six and a half about there because that bit can be cut off so yeah, when you start right at the very beginning with a journal and you've got this, you need to kind of then make all your decisions as to how you want it to flip and to flap. What I would like to do with this is score this. I don't know how good a score. I need to do valleys to mountains, so I need to go back this way. It's not one of the best scorers, but it should. Yeah, it gives us enough to be able to do that. And what I was thinking is I'll have, um, I'll put a tab on this side, flip it open. So it's like a little gusseted envelope is what I was thinking, a little gusseted pocket. Um, yeah, I think that would work. So what I need to do with this side is just cut it off because I think I'm going to have my um, flip, flip flaps at the front. Okay. Should be should be level because that's going to it's actually going to be upside down. That's going to be the front. And I just want to see if I've got them straight. So where are we? That is just sixteen and a half. And that's just 16 and a half, so that is good. They're, they're level. So there we go. That's the base of one journal cover ready. So let's do the same with this one. Because as I said, I'm going to do two. So I need to cut all these little elements off of here. Let's do this side.
cover it with our paper before covering it with our fabric. Just a little bit. There we go. And my board background. Okay, so how are we on this, the spine? Have we got, yeah, it's about the same size box, a two inch spine in there. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with that one and I want to just mark, um, turn it this way isn't it, is this going to be here? So we want to mark at um, six and a half and that's where we're going to score and then half there we need to cut there okay so let's cut this the blade is in first flip it around and grab my score noisy seagulls anyone think I live near the sea which I'm not right by the sea that's about a half hour 40 minute drive from us <laughs> uh, we do get quite a lot of seagulls because we've got a, a little um, fishing port thing here in um, the town I live at it's not a it's not that big it's like a it's yeah Okay, that, we can do any little trimming of those bits up afterwards, although that's quite flush there, and that's flush that side. I'm just going to give this a bit of a burnish down so that it stays down, and that's going to be that side. So let's just measure and make sure I've got them about the same. That's just over 16 and a half. And that's just under 16 and a half. Okay, I think I need, probably need to take a little bit of this. Right, so 16 and a half is right in that bit. Yeah, it's the tiniest of millimetres, look. Just the tiny bit. <laughs> and that should be the same. Now, yes, that is perfect. Okay, so that is our two faces. Okay, so now what I need to do is cover them in paper. So that's, this is just old packaging paper that came in um, with Amazon and I just repurpose a piece of this. Let's just use the ruler to tear it. Doesn't have to be straight. I don't think I need my ruler and my knife anymore, so I'll we'll just put them back. Okay. Turn them that way, I've got a bit more space. Because you do need a bit of space when, or I like to have a bit of space when I'm doing this. And all I do is just put some Pritt stick on here, all the way around the edge, down the spine, a bit in the middle. Okay. 
Oops. Oh well, there we go. Take that out. I've been doing that to try and get as much out of the glue as I can. And then we want the little flappy bit. Because there's surprising how much is still left in the glue pot. Um, under here. Because it's not uh, everything, cost of living and everything that's gone up. Obviously, all well, our craft supplies have gone up as well. Okay. So that, short of digging the glue out, is as flat as I'm going to get that. So I'll need to grab us a new one for the next project. So I'm just going to turn that over, lay it down. It doesn't have to be straight. But I will come along here and just smooth this out. grab myself a new glue there, got myself a new glue um, but what I want to do is just mitre all the corners on here first do that. straight So that's the main four corners, but what I also do is where you've got the spine, I will come just a little narrow V on the spine bit so that it's not too much bulk. When that flaps down, I'm not having too much bulk on the crease. So we'll do that this side. Especially seeing as we're going to put the fabric on this as well. Okay, so the other one I want to do is this. This needs to be mitered here where we've got our fold. So I'm going to do the same again. We don't need that much along here. Okay, so now <clears throat> we just need to glue all our pieces down, all our little flappy bits that we've done. So I'm just going to put some glue. Flip that over and I like to come straight in with mine, get a nice flat, smooth corner there. So I'm going to flip it around and do this little edge. Okay, so we just start working along this way now. Actually, I'm going to turn it this way, I think, make it a bit easier to glue down then. Okay. 
so that you could do this as a little mass make project if you've got um you've been saving up lots of cardboard and cereal packets or um, things like that you could use okay let's flip around and we'll start on this side Not sure what I'm going to put on the inside cover yet, whether I'm just going to um, do some collage or another bit of material. Oh, it's got a little overhang. There we go. Okay, so that is our cover ready to have the fabric so we'll lay it out and leave it over the back to dry so i want to do exactly the same again for this one so glue on here and stick this one down. like a little workout on your arms oops try not to go too hard like i just did <laughs> that'll be fine it's only just to cover it up i mean this isn't really going to see the red of the packaging through it but i just like to do this just to give it an extra layer okay and we're doing the timer about half an hour remember to set a little timer um, in front of me so I don't have to keep getting up and having a look at the uh, timer on the actual 
phone. So we're going to mitre all the corners. So we've got Easter this week. If any of you guys out there celebrate Easter. So uh, this weekend, I think we've, uh, I know we've definitely got um, mother-in-law coming over for um, Sunday dinner, but I'm not sure um, my husband's um, gramps, um, he wanted to ask his gramps um, to see if he would come over, we're not sure what he's doing. Um, so um, it might be might be just um, mother-in-law and uh, her husband. But either way, it'll be a real nice have a nice Sunday dinner and some family time. Okay, so there are our little mitery corner bits. So let's uh, glue these bits down. tree in the garden. It's lovely to hear. The spring is the season of open windows, bird song and blue skies. <laughs> Our favourite season is autumn. I just love all the colours, the woodland animals and everything, but spring is a very close second. <laughs> a very close second really a summer girl um, I, I think it's probably because I struggle with the heat so much um, yeah never really been a summer girl and the winter um, I think if we had proper snow and we had a proper cold winter I'd really um, appreciate that and probably enjoy it a bit more um, but we just get um, really just damp and murky winters here in, um, where I am in my part of the UK so I don't enjoy winter at all. It, oops, I went a bit. The only good thing about winter is um, jumpers wrapping up nice and warm and hot, lovely hot comforting drinks and stuff. <laughs> and soups, lots of soup. I do like soup. I suppose each season has its beauty and has its downside. Okay. Last little one. Can I get this on this before changing out my glue page? I need to change my glue page. Okay, I'm going to do this side.
and then the last little flap. one down there we have it two journal covers prepped and ready cool let's uh, leave that one to dry for a bit this one's dried a bit better so what I like to do is just really reinforce these, like so. It's actually that way, isn't it? And then this one is there. So that is going to be our journal. Now, I'm not going to cover this in fabric. Or do I? Because normally when I cover this style of journal, I um, will do how I've done the paper flapping it over is how I flap over the um, fabric. But I'm just thinking of how we're going to do our pocket. Because you don't want fabric here on the inside. So we could tuck the fabric over here. If we fold it here, you then have a fabric, like a little rough edge there. Whatever we decide we're going to cover on the inside. And then I want to do some little um, wedges in here. Uh, let's just see. I'll show you what I mean. So let's just do a rough one. So this is what, three inches. Okay. It would help if I had a bit of scrap that was straight. That's about straight. Turn it over. So So we've got our little spacers, but they only need to probably be about an inch. We should be able to get another one out of here. Okay, and what I'm thinking is if I can fold these... Blackbird. Just burnish that down. I don't need it quite that um, tall, so just taking a little bit off, and then that is going to stick in there. So you have a little bit of a gusset on the page, on there. So if we do had that and then a frilly edge, that would be really quite nice, wouldn't it? And then whatever I cover in here will have the flap to close it so that it, it's like a little envelope. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So let's fold this one up, see if I can try and get a better job of doing it straighter. a bit better and again it just needed a little bit off the bottom didn't it because it was a bit too tall and they are going to sit by the side little gusset yeah okay so that's made the decision as to how I'm going to um, deal with the fabric for um, the flap. So let's grab out our piece of fabric. Let's cut that bit off. 
I need that, need that long thread. Okay. And we probably don't need that much overlapping. So we can trim it down a little bit once it's in glued in. So we're going to have a rough edge around here that will flip over. Mitre the rest of these and flap them over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is glue this down. Am I going to glue this down now? I'm just thinking. I'm thinking I might want to cut this bit first. Okay, so do you know what I'm going to do? This is a straight edge on this bottom bit here and it's nice and um, frayed as well. So we are going to use this edge as that little frayed pocket that I think would work really nicely. You can come down a lot, leaving about an inch, I think, to overlap. I think that's going to be nice. Then we will cut here, cut here, mitre, mitre. Okay, that's where I'm going to go. So I'm only going to put some Fabri-Tac on here. And this is the little flap that folds over. I haven't decided whether I'm going to sew or not. Um, I might, but I want to decide on the inside first before I sew. So you guys really are um, seeing it in the beginning. I haven't planned. I've, I've planned it in my head, but I've not actually taken it out of my head onto <laughs> uh, paper. We're doing that now. Okay, so we want about an inch overlapping at the bottom and then I want that lovely frill. Okay, so let's just flip that over. Let's move it down. Okay, so now that I've got that, that's going to hold it, I want to cut a bit of excess off of here. We do not need all of this on here. Let's move this out of the way as well. So, just going to roughly eyeball about an inch. All the way to the end this will make a nice strip for something okay so what we then want to do is again we don't need all this excess on here so leaving about an inch And now we can go ahead and glue the rest down. So I'm just going to flip this back over. I'm going to do it in stages. I'm going to glue this bit down. Oh, I'm really having to squeeze this bottle. It's about a third left in it, um, but I need to refill it up. I've got a bigger bottle, but I can't use because it's cheaper to buy it in a bigger bottle. I can't, it's so big, I can't squeeze it very well. So uh, it's easier to keep 
transferring it into one of these smaller bottles. Okay. Mm, the neighbour's dog. Monty. Okay. Let's move that out. idea for the spine on this because I'm doing rustic and grungy as my theme I want to make the one of these journals really rustic and grungy so I uh, checked with um, hubby if he was able to um, cut a bamboo stick in half for me and he said theoretically yes it should be easy enough to do he's got the tools and everything it's just obviously um, depends on the um, the bamboo and how it splits um, but I want to do something with bamboo sticks and I've been collecting um, little tiny sticks from the cherry blossom tree when I've been um, when I was pruning it the other day um, just some of the lower branches um, I was pruning and um, I've kept them because I've got an idea to do with that so yeah, this really is going to be a very rustic, I'm going to bring in lots of elements from the garden and things like that. So we then just want to put some glue on our last panel. And looking at the time, we may get the second one done i'm not sure we might i might do the second cover off camera you've seen this stage but i won't i don't want to go any further um off camera i want to do this whole journal on camera oh, there that's fabric glue oh had the right workout this morning with my arms doing all of this <laughs> Okay, so that is lovely, nice and smooth down. So you've got the lovely little flat, I love that, lovely little fringe to it. And then these are all going to flap over. Okay, put the lid on that for the moment. There's my little scissors. Now this is the short little flap, so we just want to mitre that one and then we are cutting off, but I'm just going to leave a little bit so that I can fray that. I can always trim off a little bit more. Uh, about there look there we go that flaps over yeah that's got a nice little fringe okay so my to this one all the way to the corner and leave just a little bit to a fray there we go that's going to be nice. Okay. So this bit I'm going to mitre as well. I will put um, a, some material over the inside before we um, sew the signatures in so I'm not too worried about this being mitred. these 
open there. Okay. So I'm just going to put some glue. I'll wait for this to come back up. Um, there we're there. I'm just going to put a bead of glue all along here. Bead of glue on this edge and just some dots in here just to we can smoosh all that out afterwards. Okay. Move that on its side. Where did I put my scraper? There we go. And then I'm just going to manipulate that over so we've got a nice flush edge there and this will all stick down I might put some book if I do book corners I won't be able to do book corners on here so that's fine we can I might I'm probably going to put some lace and some twine and all bits like that on here anyway so let's go and put some glue all along here and all along this edge some dots in between and manipulate that over nicely okay are really sticky and gluey. That's that one. Over. Oh, yeah, it's stuck down nicely. Okay, flip it round. little bit two more little flaps to go and then this is done and we can I'll have a think um, before the next video oh I've cut my finger how on earth did I do that I guess did nothing sharp oh good job I spotted it gosh I really am blood sweat and tears with this journal <laughs> oh dear the last thing I want to do is put blood on the journal. I've probably a hang now and I've probably just caught it accidentally. There. I think it's going to dry. We'll soon see. I'll check it before I fold this piece down. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's um, a hang now. Okay, I'm going to hold that one there and do. I'm right handed, so it would be the hand that I want to use. That's down. Okay. So we've got a lovely little flap and then our journal cover. Oh, look at that. That is looking really, really nice. Really nice. Time I get my idea that I want on the spine and then we'll make a nice journal topper to go on here. Figure out what we're going to do on the inside and then this is going to be our little gusseted pocket and I'm going to have a flap that comes this way. Um, but I most probably actually might be nice to cover it in fabric as well. So there we go, that's today's video. Um, we've got our um, fabric journal cover done for one and then we've got this one ready. So I will go ahead and cover this one off camera, um, but that's all I'll do. I will be back, I think I'm going to be back next Monday. I'm not going to do this as a Monday Wednesday project. I'd like to start making some ephemera, building back my, up my stash of um, pre-made ephemera. So I'm going to go back to my Let's Craft Wednesdays and do lots of ephemera projects um for the next um probably the next six eight weeks um but uh, i will come back on a monday and we'll carry on with this little journal that we're making so there we go thank you very very much for watching and crafting along with me do check out the collaboration that i mentioned at the beginning um and i'll keep you guys posted um each week when i come on as to what what's um where we are with the collaborations and everything and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.